Honestly, I think Alexandra plays better than her own bot. Because this bot is a bit drunk. <laughs> Hello, let's have an, an exciting game. So I think she plays this, the, the French. Yeah. To pal français. <laughs> oh my god, Lou. Okay, I think knight here is fine. Can I go even with d5? Maybe just knight here. She will play d5 next. I want to play like this. If she gives a check, I develop. I'm coming for your king. Oh, you are coming to lose your queen. This is different. So you want to take there. And I can just go with knight f3. You're just a tricker. She's just a tricker. That's suspicious. <laughs> just trying to trick you. Yeah. I will castle, you know what? Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Because if I castle and if she takes, I go bishop here. So she has to take there. Ah, oh, yeah. Maybe knight c3 is the best move. Because if knight here, I just play king there. And if the queen goes back, I play bishop d3. This cannot be good. I mean, this is just bad. Knight c3 has to work. If knight c3, there is queen c2. And cannot I play uh, queen d4, attacking this knight? And if knight goes back, I just castle, and this cannot be good. I go with knight here. Everything under control. I could also just go with castle, but if queen takes, we exchange the queen and I'm a pawn down. I mean, she is lacking development. Queen d4 is the only way to avoid the queen to get exchanged. Let's say knight f6, developing. I castle. Bishop here. Whatever. Then I can play bishop g5. Yeah. I don't think this can be good. I also have sometimes a3 and bishop d3 idea, rook e1. No, this cannot be good. This is just bad. I will just castle. There is knight c2, but if knight c2, there is a check here. Hey, what did my king ever do to you? He bored me. So now I can just move the rook here. And this knight is brewing very badly. Also, this pawn is hanging. But rook b1 feels safe. Okay, c6 in order to protect the, the c7 pawn. What if I play this? I can take. And I take here, bishop f. What if I play rook d1? With the idea of bishop d3. What if d6? As I go with the pin there. So, uh, rook d1 looks good. I think this is good enough. Yeah, d6 and queen f4. Yeah, you see? Now, I think queen here looks good. And honestly, I'm getting... What the freak? How is, can this even be a thing? I want to play queen, queen, queen b3. And this knight is completely trapped there. Completely trapped. Bishop d3 is next. Now bishop d3. Queen is moving. Okay, this cannot be good. Where is the queen going? into g5 i mean if i move it here where is the knight going d4 is controlled yeah honestly i think alexandra plays better than her own bot because this bot is a bit drunk <laughs> bishop d7 we are a piece off guys we won that knight the knight was completely trapped so now alex i'm doing you an offer that you can't refuse I want to exchange the queens so that you cannot both as gambit. This will be easier with your lady off the board. Yeah. Hey, I need that to checkmate you. What? She's trash talking, but I don't understand her trash talk. A few moments later. I need to protect this pawn. All night there. Now we go. La li, la la, la li, la li, la 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 li. La li la 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 li La la li la la Wait, are you sure you don't want a knight or a bishop? Okay, I'll make a bishop. I can give Alexandra, I can give mate with a knight and a bishop. Okay, Alex, I'll do it for you. If you ask me for, I didn't want to bully you, but if you ask for this, I'll do that. You know. Check. Oh no, my queen! All right. Okay, my dear Alexandra. Remember the 50 move rules. Yes, we are at move 72. The last piece was captured. And now, technique. 
We need to bring the king to an edge. This is important. And the right edge is this one. So the edge has to be of the same color of the bishop. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Bishop here. I'll give a check. And now king here. Oh, I nearly did. <laughs> this is better. So now I will try to bring Miss Alexandra on that side. Let's start to cover. So now I'm covering this square. Okay, she's running already. I think this should be fine. Okay, so she's going back. So now I play bish bishop here. Okay, and now we have the position. Knight here, the queen has to go there. And now we go this. So now it's everything technique. The king is running away, and now we do we go with the knight here. The idea is that the knight is, core, is controlling this square so that the king cannot go out. We need to avoid the king to get in the center. And now we need to go a bit more near with the king. She's trying to get out, but we will use our bishop to avoid that. Oh, sorry. Sorry, we need to use the knight first. So knight here is creating a barrier towards those two squares. And then, with the use of our bishop... We will complete the barrier. So you see now, there is a complete barrier. The king cannot get out. Now we just lose a tempo with our bishop. And we do an even shorter barrier. The king cannot get out. And now, king here. And now we basically reach the same position, but we are a bit more near to the other side. We give a check so that the king doesn't run away. We lose a tempo, keeping the control of this square. And the king has to move on. And now we go on with the same knight maneuver. The king is running. Uh, we follow it with the king. If the king goes there, I think we have knight here. And we are controlling that square. Yes. The, the king has to go there. We face the king. If king here, we have a check. And now we just have to, to go around with the knight. Bishop here. Check. 